What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back at again with another video. So, shout out to one of the homies in the In the Clutch Discord for giving me this uh, video idea. He suggested that I check out some unpopular wrestling takes on social media and talk about them. And that's what I decided to do, except I wanted to switch it up. WrestleMania is this week, so I wanted to do or wanted to check out the most weird and unusual wrestling takes for WrestleMania 40 this year. I've seen a few just that don't make a lick of sense. And I asked you guys on Twitter to send me some of the ones that you have seen, uh, whether you screenshotted it or you quoted it or whatever. You've seen someone say some wild stuff on social media regarding what's going to happen at this year's wrestlemania and if this video does well i'll do some more wrestling takes every now and then like kind of create a series out of it of just some of the wildest stuff that you've seen on social media once again people are entitled to their opinion so that's all fine and well but that doesn't mean that we can't critique the stupidity of some of these takes all right, let's get right into this one. This should be a good one. I've been looking forward to this. Uh, shout out to everyone that hit me up on Twitter and, and uh, participated in this. If I didn't get to your tweet uh, in this video, don't take it personally. It's just, you know, I'm not trying to make this video too long. So I, you know, posed a question on Twitter. Someone has suggested a good video idea. What are some of the worst WrestleMania 40 takes y'all seen so far? Send them to me on here and the best ones I will put into a video on my channel. So many being many, you see it right here. Many is a, a interesting individual. Shout out to many though. Uh, she uh, responded that WrestleMania 40 hasn't, uh, hasn't had a good build and that gender belongs in catering instead of dethroning Gunther. I was this close to blocking many. I was this close. But I know she be trolling. But I was this close. I was as soon as I saw the dethroning Gunther part, I was just up. Up. I'm right there. I'm right there. You're funny, Minnie. Gunther will never be dethroned by the likes of catering gender mahal. Anywho. Um, the WrestleMania 40 part, uh, I have seen people to say this. Me personally, I think WrestleMania 40's build has been pretty good in my opinion. I, I, I personally have liked WrestleMania's 40 build, um, mainly because obviously The Rock and and uh, Cody and Roman and Seth, I think that's kind of been the best well, the build that's had the most attention and has brought the most hype. Let me just be honest with you. Me, I've been, I've been looking forward to you know just WrestleMania 40 in a gen in general because I, I feel like it's gonna be something special. We do have some good matches lined up. I definitely was looking forward to Bailey and EO what she got going on there, and now with the inclusion of Jade, Bianca, and Naomi. I'm looking forward to that six uh six woman match against damage control. Um Seth and uh and Drew. I've been looking forward to that just off the premise of Drew's been doing some of his best work. He's been cooking, and now they added CM Punk into the mix. Definitely excited. And you know, I know some people are still kind of iffy on the Sami Zayn and Gunther, but I think they're gonna have a good showing. So me personally. Last year's WrestleMania build was pretty good, but I think this one, it feels bigger, obviously, because The Rock's involved, and uh, they've just, you know, they've really, they've given it that, that, uh, the edge, you know, the edge in the sense of, you know, how intense these feuds can possibly get, and, you know, allowing some of these wrestlers to, you know, kind of be freely on the microphone, so I, I'm looking forward to it even more in my personal opinion, than 40, uh, 39, but I don't know. That's just my opinion on it. So let's get to the next one. Cody wins against Roman. Um, I don't let me move myself out the way. Cody wins against Roman. It's not a, it's not a horrible take. I know a lot of Roman. I've seen a lot of Roman fans comment on this. They, they want Cody to lose. Um, uh, this is a very interesting one. 
that AJ Styles versus LA Knight is the worst match on the card? No. <clears throat> it is not the worst match on the card. Right now, in my opinion, the match that I care about the least that shouldn't be on the card is the whole Rey Mysterio uh, going against Dominic and Santos. I think he's teaming up with Dragon Lee. I don't care about that match. That match should not be on the show. I'm just being honest. They haven't even built up for it. I, I don't care. That's the match. I Will it be good? I think it will be good, but I don't care about it, so I'm not really invested. I'm more invested in LA Knight and AJ Styles. I'm really invested in that because I, I I feel like, you know, they're, they're going to put on a good show when it's gotten personal. So I'm more invested in that than the whole Ray teaming up with Dragon Lee going against uh, Dominic and Santos. I, I really don't too much care about that. Um, let's see what he said. The homie uh, YNRD that one tag title should be one at a time during the ladder match. How the fuck would that work? Is uh, one team just going to walk back and let another team grab the other titles to have a, ma a mania moment instead of themselves? Make it make sense. Whoever came up with that, you cannot. You got to be new to wrestling or something. That don't even make sense. Why would you have one team, one tag title be one, one, one at a time? Like, who? Huh? What's the? What's the? All right. Yeah, whoever that person was, they need help. That that don't even make any sense. All right, now uh, Fasal sent a group of these. Let me go through these. Uh, let's see. Fans are saying this week Raw had one of the greatest endings ever, yet their top babyface was completely beaten senseless. So why finish the story when cinema still exists? Well, you can tell just by this that they are Roman Reigns fans and Bloodline fans. So, of course, they're not going to want, you know, the person to finish the story. Um, I don't take these type of tweets too seriously because they're usually just doing it for engagement. But to kind of put it into perspective, most baby faces, especially going into WrestleMania, a lot of times they have them get beat up. And then they have them either uh, most likely like the go-home show to get revenge. We've seen it with Daniel Bryan. They did the same thing. Daniel Bryan got packed up, and I want to say a week later, right before WrestleMania, came back, attacked Triple H, attacked uh, Randy Orton. Uh, I think he attacked Batista, but he had a kendo stick. So he was putting in work, and the last thing shot is the crowd going, yes. You know, like, that's the whole point is to sell the fact that the babyface has to overcome these odds. So him getting, Cody getting packed up, that was perfect. They needed to do that to show the severity of this potential feud. So don't know what this person is talking about. Um, This is a long-winded one to see. Why will Vince McMahon cost Cody Rhodes the title at four, Mania 40? Vince doesn't like former AEW members, so he would be furious to see Cody winning the WWE Championship. Vince may not want a former AEW member to dethrone the face of the company, Roman Reigns. Only Roman, Heyman, Vince had creative powers over the story of the bloodline. With Vince gone, plans for Romans didn't change. Vince is, is already hated by the entire WWE universe, so the hate he would receive costing Cody the title would be absolutely nothing to him wwe want to break the record books and then have roman reigns have the longest reign of the wrestling wrestlemania era this is some of the dumbest shit he should have my boy paid for twitter twitter blue so he could type this bullshit bro he could have kept that to himself bro that shit's trash that is that is one of the worst legitimately one of the worst situations Vince should never be involved in anything related to WWE going forward. It's done. Why Why are we putting them in this? This is awful. This is garbage. Whoever put this, I mean, once again, he's a, he's a Roman Reigns fan. It's cringe. Uh, let's see. This is all the proof you need when you talk about Rock versus Roman needs the title to be on head of the table. If Roman versus Jay needed the title, then that's all we need to know. Cody isn't winning a match he wasn't supposed to be in. Sorry for the spoiler. <sighs> I've seen this before. Roman and The Rock doesn't need the title because they're bigger than the title. It's bigger than the title. Why would you do that? Because you put your you book yourself into a situation either Roman wins or The Rock wins. 
You're going to have a match, his first match back against Roman, and what, The Rock's going to lose? If The Rock does the job for Roman, all right, cool, but then, once again, who's going to beat him? You're putting, your, you're putting, you are trying to break a record that honestly doesn't need to be broken. It's a different time period in wrestling. The only reason why Roman Reigns has this record, because they didn't know what to do. <laughs> Vince didn't know what to do, how to get the title off him. So stop it. That makes no sense. You destroy the product for one potentially good match. It's bigger than the title. They don't need it. And if you have Roman lose to The Rock, that's pointless too. It's really pointless because why would you have someone that hasn't been around that much beat the guy that's been there for the past few years and carrying the company on its back? That makes no sense. At least with Cody finishing his story and actually winning, now you have fresh matchups that you can see on SmackDown. You have fresh matchups. Who's going to... Nobody... We already know if Roman was to lose to The Rock, then they're going to do a rematch to get the title back. Like, no one's no one's beating The Rock outside of Roman. So, I don't know. that I've seen this plenty of times. It's just people don't want Cody to finish the damn story. All right. This moment still feels surreal. Never in a million years did I think we would see The Rock turning heel in 2024. John Cena next? No. Stop it. Relax. I've seen that too. John Cena's not turning fucking heels. What's the point? He's at the, the tail end of his career. He's not doing that. No. <laughs> Let it go. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Oh, shout out to the homie Tommy on this one. That uh, Damien should cash in on Cody as the ultimate swerve. Fuck no. Jesus. No. Just no. Let me make myself big on here. No. That's stupid. That's dumb. Because if that was the case, he should have been cashed in on Roman. And I get it. Oh, you can cash in on a vulnerable. Co no, that's dumb. That's dumb. That's swerving for the sake of swerving. Vince used to do that shit. No, we're past that. That's stupid. You waste everybody's time. No. No. And I haven't done nothing with Damian Priest anyway for me to buy into him being a world champion anytime soon. Right now, in my opinion. So, no. Shout out to the homie Tommy, man. Uh, See another one. Priest standing tall at the end of it with the title. Nope, doesn't mm -mm, doesn't make sense. All right, this should be a good one. Someone uh, put a, a long one here. Pause. <laughs> that Sammy didn't deserve the match against Gunther, even though he's been telling a story about finding his way to the tippy top uh, way before Gable did. Because if Gable was going into Mania, he would have to eat a pin. And then what? Gable's story ain't even good enough yet. I, for one, uh, I, for one... Uh, want them uh, to use this match as a uh, match as a, a match at Mania as a stepping stone for Gable to then go for the title. Story progression is key. His daughter crying because he lost clean in a is an extremely weak story, especially when it comes to taking the title from one of the most dominant runs in modern WWE history. His W against Gunther is is, is a countout. That doesn't make him the biggest threat to Gunther at all. Can't win a title with that. WWE's biggest curse right uh, right now, um, uh, no, is that they're doing too good of a job making us love everybody because they're giving us a reason to be invested in more than just the top card wrestlers. Gable should win, but this is not the right time. All right, hey, man. So someone basically said Sammy doesn't deserve to be in that spot. I definitely disagree, and he kind of broke it down. Um, I agree. I, I love Gable, but people are harping on, the, oh, his daughter cried, and the story's already been there, but they didn't do nothing with that story. If you guys remember, he went back to Alpha Academy, jobbing out with them. That was it. They didn't capitalize on that momentum. With the, uh, uh, the Sammy stuff, They've been trying to tell he's had bad luck ever since the Drew situation. Because originally it's supposed to be Drew versus Sammy. But they got rid of that because of CM Punk's injury. So it was supposed to be Drew versus Sammy. That was the story we were supposed to get. It was supposed to be Brock versus Gunther. So that's why we're in this situation they are in now. They had to pull the audible. And I think this makes better sense in Gable trying to coach him up to prepare himself mentally for Gunther. And it's still unpredictable because I don't know. I know a lot of people saying 
uh, Gunther should retain, but I don't know if he will just off the story that they've been trying to tell. So I don't know. We'll see. But I, I like how he broke that down. Uh, this is another one I've seen. Sorry, but EO and Bailey main eventing. I've seen a lot of people. Uh, you can't see it. My bad, guys. <laughs> Sorry, but EO and Bailey main eventing. Um, I've seen people talk about this. I like Bailey and EO, but The Rock, The Rock, Roman Reigns, Seth, and Cody. That that was gonna be the main event. And after what we saw that happened last Monday night, yeah, that's that's the main event of night one, and it makes sense. They're going to have the biggest matches. It's WrestleMania. No disrespect to them. And I know they feel like they should main event. And if The Rock wasn't there, they should. But I'm sorry. The Rock's there. It's the biggest tag team match damn near in WWE WrestleMania history. One of them, at least. It's, it's yeah. I'm sorry. That, that's just what it is. Seth turns on Cody. I've seen this so many times. And I truly despise when people say this Seth turning on Cody makes absolute no sense and I'm gonna say this once and I'm gonna leave it at at that all the way to Wrestlemania Seth turning on Cody is stupid you're just trying to make a swerve out of nothing it's the dumbest shit possible because Seth has been getting embarrassed by The Rock and Roman Reigns the bloodline has been disrespectful it makes absolute no sense to do that you ruin Seth's character. And not in a good way. No. There's no point in doing that. Yes, we know Seth wants to get his win back. They can do that at another time. Potentially when, uh, if Cody becomes the champion. Then you can do that, that situation where Seth goes heel to get the title off of Cody. But it makes no sense to do it now. Considering that it would make Seth look like a complete fucking idiot. And it makes it makes him look like a, a, a buffoon because these guys have been clowning you and disrespecting you, and you're gonna turn on Cody for what? Now you 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 still in the same situation. You're not winning any championships. It doesn't benefit him. It doesn't. And what's the point of seeing this feud again when Seth has already lost to the guy three times? Who cares? I don't want to see it right now. So no, that's I'm gonna. I've seen a few people say this over and over and over for all of WrestleMania season. It's the dumbest thing. It's just turning, like, just right here. Seth turning on Cody. Raw save us from the nightmare, bro. I, look, I've said it. It's stupid. It's dumb. Don't do it. This is another wild one right here. Uh, John Cena returns to help Roman Reigns instead of Cody because he thinks Cody is taking over his number one babyface legacy. Whoever originally said that, that's, that's just stupid. Why? That's just dumb. <laughs> just why would why would he come back to the group that packed him up? Solo packed him up. I do think he will be at WrestleMania this year to get his uh get his ones back with Solo to help Cody. But that makes what? No, no, that no. He's not even gonna be around like that for that to happen. So like to challenge Cody for his baby face look. That's stupid. That's dumb. No. That's a waste of his time. It's a waste of our time. No. I don't know who accounts y'all be seeing posting these tweets. But yeah, man. This is, yeah. <laughs> this is wild, bro. And uh, I think I'm going to do uh, maybe one more. Because, I, like I said, I don't want to make this video too, too long. Let me kind of scroll down. See some. Um... I saw a Bloodline stand saying, uh, Jay should super kick Cody and Roman. And wins. Uh, that's kind of uh, I don't know about that one. Uh, let me see this one, cause I've been seeing a few people talk about this. After you tweeted that, I saw this on my TikTok. I DK if this counts as a bad take since it's about the stage. I've been seeing people talk about the leaks of the WrestleMania stage. The WrestleMania 40 stage is just a huge LED screen again so far. Okay, and then what was the response? And they recycled the letters from WrestleMania 31. I was at WrestleMania 31 too. So pissed makes me a, 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 a so so this makes me a little pissed. Guys, calm down, bro. We don't know fully how the stage is going to like they over here talking about they recycle letters, bro. Who fucking cares, bro? 
Like seriously, I I'm, I'm I just want to know. I know WWE back in the day used to have a lot more creative stages and stuff like that, which I wish they would go back to, especially to the big pay per views. But I I, I want to know while the match is going on, are you gonna actually give that much of a fuck about the the wrestling letters being the same as what it was in the past? I, I just want to know. I'm not going to give two fucks. Want to know why? Because I'm there to watch the wrestling show. I don't give a damn. I'm there to watch the, to experience the wrestling, the stories. I don't think there is any story involving the fucking WrestleMania sign and or entrance. So that's, <laughs> as, as wrestling fans, we can never truly be satisfied. But that's about it, man. Uh, there's been plenty more. I appreciate all of y'all. As y'all can see, y'all sent a lot of them, like, just a lot, a lot of them. Like, you guys really ran it up, and I'm going to go through and just check them out personally on my personal time. So, I'll, if I wasn't able to get you in this video, please don't take it personally. Um, it's just, you know, I didn't want to make this too, too long. But, hey, y'all comment down below. Let me know in this video some other WrestleMania 40 takes that just, when you read it, you, it's like you lost some IQ points like you lost some brain cells from how stupid it was let me know down below but I appreciate all the love and support road to 150k and I'm still here to be the YouTube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking it with me see y'all next one peace